Hello, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. I have been cleaning a bit of the time, but there's so much stuff in here to go through, and I had been so sick on and off. And so I put down my wallet on the chair. I got empty boxes to go through and, and save the stuff I need and throw the stuff I don't need. And you can see all this stuff piled up in the chair. I got to go through. I'll be so glad when I can do laundry. Can't get my hair straightened out. And I walked to go get the dry food for Mama Cat and Kitten. And something fell on the floor. And I, I stepped on it and said, that it made this crunch. And it doesn't sound good. And here's, let's see, what are we doing here? Here's what happened. This is my iPhone 5S. It is now crunched. I stepped on the damn thing really hard. I didn't realize I stepped on it. It still works. But now I got to get the screen repaired. And I don't know where to get the screen repaired for this. So it doesn't work as an iPhone, but I play my games on it, keep track of the internet. I really can't see it because of the backlighting, but uh, I'm very upset about this. <laughs> it broke my iPhone. All right. I, I don't I don't think there's a defense against George stomping on the iPhone that you can put over the phone. Maybe there's a screen protector, but putting 300 pounds on the iPhone, you know. Now we know, do not put three, we know the pressure here, 300 pound pressure will, will destroy your iPhone or at least crack the hell out of the screen. Oh, God. Well, it really, it really cracked it too. It's like a whole bunch of shards here, so. See if I can shut that off and, and you can, there you go. So there's another uh, burden I got to deal with. God. And I play uh, Talking Tom the Talking Cat. Look at the weather on there. Look at the time when I wait for the bus. I rely on that to know to drag the iPad out of my bag. All right. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great day and stay warm and safe out there. And I'll do another video in a minute. Bye-bye for now.